Hey, this is Trev Murphy, and today we are colouring Wendy Melvoin of Wendy and Lisa. And we're going to start off with um, E000, um, then quickly jump to Y000, Pale Lemon. Um, this is done from a photograph by Steve Park, um, a very talented photographer who's taken many photographs of Prince and Wendy and Lisa, among other people. Um, you can see I'm laying down a base colour. Um, of this yellow because it works really well under E00 skin white. So we're just going to throw in some skin white here and uh, just build it up slowly, always working from light to dark. Um, if you want to see more of Steve Park's work, go to www.imagecarnival.com forward slash park. That's park with an E. So we're just continuing to use E00 skin white here to build up the um, skin tones and uh, now we're going to switch to a darker um, earth color which is uh, E02 fruit pink and um, we're just basically working up the face building in the shadows and um, that's the great thing about Copic markers they layer so well I mean you can still see that pale lemon coming through the um, the skin I'm going to throw on one of my favourite colours, G20 Wax White. Um, it's a really nice photograph. Uh, it's treated, I think, um, to give it a stylized look, so that's what I'm uh, trying to get here. And we're going to jump back to Pale Yellow, and that will blend in some of that um, Wax White. So we'll just build that up for a bit. And um, now we'll throw in some E00 again, skin white. A lot of the colours you can use to blend, um, I mean they blend really well, especially on this watercolour card. Uh, not so much on Bristol board, um, you, you don't get the same amount of layering that you can get with a thicker watercolour card. So you can see it's starting to take shape. Um, we're going to switch back to fruit pink, there's a lot of back and forth here. I'm just kind of feeling my way through this picture. Um, we'll throw some shadows in under the eyes and the eyebrows. And just build it up, build it up. Yep, cheekbones and eyes. Um, now we're going to switch back to E00 skin white and blend in some of that uh, E02. Now, deep orange, we're going to do some nice shadow work here around the eyes and the neck and the hair, yep. Now we'll probably use a lighter colour to blend that in. And top lip. Baked clay, and yeah, we're just going to darken down the shadows a little bit further. kind of like a DVD commentary, I'm just saying what I see here, you know. If I can explain it as we go, that, that's that's the work. It's working. Okay, on to the lips now. Or 08 Vermilion. Um, it's a great colour, it's very intense, so we can use an Or 02 flesh to blend that in. It always works really well, especially in the Joker pictures. It's a really handy colour to have Or 02. Um, I'd recommend it for anybody starting out with Copics. Now B000 Pale Porcelain Blue, that's a mouthful. Now we're just going to throw in some shadows. Um, that's the great thing about Copics, they look really well. The more colours you use, the more natural it looks. So, colours that you don't usually use, just give it a shot, you know, throw a bit in there. You can further blend it in with E00 Skin White. Um, if you have a picture that you're not sure, like, or you know, you're only starting off, a lot of people can't see all the different colors that are in a picture. There's me wearing my hat, like an oaf. B21 baby blue. Lovely, we'll just try that down as a base for the hair. What I was saying there, though, is you can't, if, if you can't see the colors, you can bring it into Photoshop or Paint Shop Pro or whatever and just boost up the colors and uh, they'll be revealed to you. So you can use that as a, a kind of a tip. So smoky blue, we're going to throw in uh, more darkened hair. You leave a bit of texture, it doesn't have to be solid blue. 
Let's draw in some strands there. I, I'm pretty sure my hat makes another appearance later on in this demo. So um, I'm learning as I go. Don't wear hats when you're recording a Copic marker demo. Okay, cobalt blue. Don't worry if you don't have all these colors. Um, as I said, you can layer Copic so well that even with only a few colors, you can make many, many more colors just by layering. Now, burnt umber. There's my hat again. Damn. Okay, burnt umber. Yeah, let's work up those shadows. Um, instead of using just black, straight black, I'm using burnt umber. Oh, burnt umber is another great color. You have to get it. It's as close to black as you can get and still look brown. So it's really nice for um, for darker areas. Now we're using some special black. As I've said before, there's very little difference. Uh, practically no difference between black and special black. So I'm not even going to go into it here. It's not worth talking about. Well, it is if you're a complete Copics nerd. But anyway, we're going to switch to zero. 0.8 multiliner and we're going to use that to just bring in the blacks to the face because I don't want Copics um, bleeding in over my uh, over my line there. Get that goddamn head out of the way. Okay, so we're using the multiliner to throw in more small strands of hair. That's a great hairdo. Hairdo. Yep, drawing some more in the eyes and darken down those eyelashes. Gorgeous. Check out WendyandLisa.com for their new album, White Flags of Winter Chimneys. It's phenomenal. They do the, uh, Wendy and Lisa do the soundtrack for Heroes. So if you like the soundtrack for Heroes, you're going to love that album. So we're using sepia 0.3 multiliner to just add in some more detail, suggest some more um, of those lovely eyebrows, and just blend in the baked clay brown and throw in a bit of detail onto the lips. Back to 0 0.03 multiliner, just tidy it up a little bit more, sharpen it up. Throw in some more individual strands. That's my favorite part of the job, is just nailing those little details and bringing it to life. If I see that hat again, so help me God. Okay, white ink with a size zero brush. This is great fun now, just throwing in the highlights. This is when sketch cards come to life. Get some highlights in those luscious lips. There you go. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Pale fruit pink. Just do some more blending. A um, couple of more highlights. Yep. Okay, Trev, it's done. Leave it. Look at him. He's crazy. He's crazy for the detail. Well, there you go. Be sure and visit wendyandlisa.com. Do yourself a favor. Great music. Beautiful music. And visit trevmurphy.com for more videos.